Hello there, my name is Stephanie Rojo. I'm an estate planning and estate administration attorney at Stone Law Offices in Northwest Las Vegas. And today I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss with you what to do with your personal property. So I have a lot of clients who come in for initial consultations, whether they have a trust or don't have a trust. And a lot of times the starting point is I want to avoid an argument. How can I deal with my personal property in a way that makes sense, that's efficient? So let's take, let's take this a few ways. If you have no estate plan in place, that's a problem. We're gonna to want to discuss what your specific goals are, who your beneficiaries are gonna be, and we're gonna to wanna to set up an estate plan for you. Whether that's a will or a trust, all depends on the type of assets that you have. So we're gonna push that off to the side and say that you're going to need to get some, some planning in place to determine what's going to happen with your personal property and all of your other assets as well. If you have a trust in place, I want you to take a look at your estate planning binder to see what documents you actually sign. Refresh your memory. Hopefully one of the documents is called an assignment of personal property or something titled similarly that says I take all of my tangible personal property, all of my collectibles, my furniture, my books, etc. and I put all of those things into the name of my trust. Having that document is really important because what it does is it retitles those assets into the name of your trust so that if you become incapacitated or when you pass away, your trustee is able to seamlessly come in and address the distribution of those assets or address the maintenance of those assets without having to have any other kind of intervention from a court or something like that. So ideally you have that assignment of personal property. If you don't, please contact your estate planning attorney to make sure you get something like that prepared or discuss the matter further. If you do have that assignment of personal property, great. Uh, the next step would be to consider, is that enough? Do you just want your trustee to handle everything or do you wanna provide more specific instructions for those personal property items? So there's a couple ways you can go about doing it. And the first is to actually include a specific distribution of that personal property item in your trust. So if you're just getting your estate plan set up, you could absolutely include that into the initial trust document. If you already have your trust in place, you can certainly consider making an amendment to include that. That's not always the most economical route to go. You don't wanna to have to necessarily be contacting your attorney over and over again to change specific distributions. So instead, what we've done for our clients is we have provided what's called a personal property memorandum. And in that personal property memorandum, you are able to identify the specific asset that you own, the person you'd like to inherit that asset from you, and it includes a spot for you to put their contact information to make it a little bit easier on your trustee. And then it also includes a section for married couples uh, to determine if that asset is to, pa is to be distributed immediately upon the first spouse's passing or after both of you have passed away. If you fill out this document, it's really, really important that you provide a copy of it to your attorney or make a backup copy somewhere because I have seen cases where clients' estate planning documents were lost. So you wanna make sure that the, the document can be replicated. And for those of you who are wondering, well, what if I replace that document later on? What if there are multiple copies? We look at the most recent uh, dated version as the most current document to go off of for purposes of distribution. So if you have personal property that you wanna make sure goes to a particular person, you can absolutely start thinking about that today. Go back and look at your estate planning documents, fill out your uh, personal property memorandum. If you don't have that, if you don't have an assignment of personal property, give your estate planning attorney a call as soon as possible so you can get that arranged. Otherwise, if you'd like to discuss the matter, the matter further with myself, you're welcome to give me a call. Stephanie Rojo at Stone Law Offices and my number is 702-998-0444.